Hi, I'm Elliot Orton. And I'm Lyman Orton, Elliot's dad, and along with his two brothers, we're the proprietors of the Vermont Country Store. Today we're standing here at the cheese counter at our store in Weston, and as you can see, I've got before me one of our large wheels of Vermont cheddar cheese, award-winning, best-in-the-country cheddar cheese. So sweet tasting and nice. I'm going to do um, a little demonstration here with Elliot, my son, to uh, show him the storekeeper's knot. So what happens in the store when somebody wants a piece of cheese is that we get the big old knife out here and just take a little cut through here like that, okay, and then we lay it out on our old-fashioned butcher paper. Now we've got the old scale over here that's the balance beam scale. Uh, we don't use this anymore, but when I was growing up, we used this all the time. And so this is how you do it. You put this up here, and you've got this little um, thing over here. So see how it balances there? So this piece of cheese weighs 3 quarters of a pound, OK? See how that's up there? Now, when I was a kid, we had a, a wonderful elderly man, Sam Waite, who my father hired and worked in the store. He almost looked like Santa Claus. Great guy, taught me everything about storekeeping. And part of cutting cheese is the pride in when, when a customer comes in and says, I want a pound of cheese, to be able to nail it. Now, I only got three quarters of a pound. If you, Sam would have said I got an F in that class. So he was very proud that he could cut a pound on the nose. And so Sam would put it up there, and he'd go and he'd put it right on a pound like I did. Well, if it didn't quite come up to a pound, he'd do, <laughs> hit it with his thumb like that. <laughs> now, he was not trying to cheat the customer, but he was proud that he could do it. He'd go like that, and he'd take it off. i go, Sam. But, you know, usually it was just a hair difference, and then he'd, he'd figure it less when he charged the customer for the thing, because we did it in our head in those days. So I always remembered that and uh, thought it was very cute. So, Elliot, here's how we do the storekeeper knot. Okay. okay, you do this with the cheese, wrap it up in the butcher paper. You may have seen your old butcher do this, okay, do a little package. And now we got the twine in a cone. We pull it down. We wrap this around here. Okay, Elliot, you paying attention? Because yep. you're going to get a chance to do this after I do. Wrap that around there. And the storekeeper's knot is a very quick thing that goes magic, like that. It's tied up, broken, all in one Did you get that, Elliot? I did. Okay, so you give it a shot. So here, here, take that and you see it. You try it. All right, now put your arm in there. Yeah. <laughs> you say. <laughs> now watch. Yeah. I want to show you how this breaks Elliot off. Elliot is nice not a neat. good student. He's not <laughs> learned this very well. God, I started when he was a kid, but look at him. He's well, still, yeah. If you cut him off my circulation. Swimming, I would get it. <laughs> yeah, see, see. Yeah, the, there yeah, we go. See the, yeah, Storekeeper's knot. Storekeeper's knot with the younger generation, <laughs> the right way with the older generation. <laughs> Hey, come visit us here at the Vermont Country Store and uh, we'll cut off some cheese. And uh, if you want a sample, look at this, Elliot, take this thing <laughs> off my hand. And uh, what we'll do is offer you up a nice sample of Vermont cheddar cheese right off the big wheel. Nice talking to you. See you again sometime. Thank you.